First up tonight on Eyewitness News at 6, we are your back to school authorities. Students in several towns set foot inside school for the first time since March. And of course, they returned to find a lot of changes because of the coronavirus. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Mike Savino is joining us live from Glastonbury to tell us more about how the first day of school went. Mike. Yes, and Aaron, it sounds like things went uh, as well as could be planned. Superintendents, parents, uh, and students from a couple of towns telling me that everyone seemed to be following all of these new rules and protocols. But of course, they're also aware of how quickly things can change. I don't want to say surprisingly good, but it was uh, without um, issues. Superintendents in several towns telling Eyewitness News that today's return to school was a success. Students came back for the first time since Governor Ned Lamont closed school in March. And students say everyone followed the new protocols. But things remain fluid and everyone is aware of how a COVID-19 outbreak can force difficult decisions. That's a $64,000 question. Everyone asks me that almost every time. School districts have plans to close down classrooms if students or teachers test positive for COVID-19. But whole schools could be shut down if there are fears of widespread exposure. Superintendents want to avoid a district-wide shutdown, but say that's an option if necessary. There's been a lot of communication back and forth with parents and students throughout the past few weeks. Parents say school officials have provided plenty of information for protocols. Things like arrows for one-way traffic, markers on the floor six feet apart, and a requirement that everyone wears masks. Some school districts are still trying to get ready. New Britain announcing today school will start Tuesday, September 8th, instead of this Thursday. The school district said in a statement, We understand that this is a hardship for all of us, and that is why we have been planning all summer to ensure we have a model for educating your child either in school or remotely. We expect that the students are going to follow the rules, and if they don't follow the rules, I mean, I hate to say it like this, but they simply can't come. Superintendents say students who don't follow the rules can't come to school. Students say the message has been received, especially by those looking forward to milestones. They actually told us that if you're not wearing a mask, then you're going to be sent home and you can only do distance learning. So, yeah, it's probably should wear a mask. Of course, not everything went perfect today. In Glastonbury, for example, they did have an internet issue affecting how they were able to teach the kids remotely for a couple of hours. The issue was resolved, and the superintendent says it's just part of the learning process in the pandemic. Reporting live from Glastonbury, Mike Savino, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.